Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you don't mind I'm filming this intro on my phone because um, I left my camera in the house and I'm in the studio and I've got precious time. Um, I've literally got an hour to spare in the studio today. But I am now a mum. So my baby little girl called Willow has been born. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you'll see more updates and stuff on there. It's at page Joanna. I'll leave it at the bottom of the screen. Um, so yes, I had my little baby girl on the 1st of December and it's just been a whirlwind. She's five weeks old in two days time. Um, and I'm just starting to feel sort of more energy and stuff to come out and do things um, as and when I can because having a newborn is actually mad so me and my husband are sort of juggling to um, to be able to allow me some time to come out and do bits and bobs. As you can see I have bad skin again I don't know if you followed my journey um, last year when I was pregnant and I got really bad like cystic acne well I'm just having a couple of issues so I thought I'd just mention that before um continuing because ugh, it's obviously right in your face um but i've actually booked to, uh, to go to a private dermatologist in a couple of weeks so um i can get this sorted because although my hormones are obviously still doing their thing after um after having her um i'm just not very happy with the fact that my skin's still like this and what i want to say or do i am sewing in this video it's a sewing vlog um but i just thought i would do a chatty little vlog to start 2022 on this youtube channel um and just get going with it really and get back to my youtube so um i'm gonna be sewing a friday pattern company sage brush today which i've done on my channel before um and i absolutely love I am making it however into like a dress version and the hack is really easy I'm pretty sure I have talked about it on here before yeah I will leave those other videos below because you, you can see the different variations today I'm going to be sewing with a really lightweight buttery viscose fabric from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn as you guys know they're like one of my fave fabric shops um love their viscoses and I'm using this black really cool like dotty print it's not quite polka dot it's like an abstract dotty print which i thought was really nice so yeah that's what we're doing today in today's video but i thought i'd come by and chat with you guys whilst we prep the sewing machine and just sort of get back to videoing um so i thought as well it'd be quite nice every year i kind of talk about like my goals for the year and um what i want to achieve and stuff like that so for 2022 i haven't had a chance yet to put pen to paper and write down like properly what my goals are or like what i'd like to achieve necessarily i think a lot of the, a lot of what i figure with myself and what i need to work on is i'm quite a busy body and i just need to give myself that time to just just exist and take each day at a time and having a baby has definitely uh, slowed me down um i feel quite frantic like i feel like even when i eat my dinner i'm like trying to rush it in case she starts crying or something so um at the moment my time is definitely designated to willow and um and obviously just making sure she has everything she needs and everything and as a newborn she's pretty hard work so that's pretty much what i've been doing yeah just sort of like coming to terms with um getting back to work and being a new mum and how that's all going to work for me and my little family. Chris is back to work this week, so uh, yeah, we're just sort of navigating that uh, and how I'm going to get back to content creation and stuff. One big goal that I would like this year, and I'm sort of on my way, which is really cool, is getting to 100,000 followers on 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I reached 70,000 just before Christmas, and um, literally so blown away I, I honestly never thought i would even reach ten thousand. so um to get to the seventy thousand is like a huge achievement and i'd love by the end of this year to reach 100 and get that all amazing youtube plaque that um that you get at 100k which would be fantastic then um also i want to launch more products on my etsy store because i do woven labels and buttons and i'd really like to push that a bit further um, and do more stuff for crafting community whether that's like crafty products or um kits you know that kind of thing so they're like my big goals and then just being a mum and lots of family time making new friends is a big one this year as well because i don't have many friends in portsmouth um all my friends are sort of dotted all over the country so it'd be nice to have a few local 
friends to go out with. So yeah, thank you for joining me here in 2022. Um, I'm excited for the year ahead, you guys. And I just want to say a huge thank you if you've already been a subscriber, if you're new here, if you've been around for a while. Um, it means a lot to me and we're going to have a really great year. And I love seeing your comments and your feedback on my videos. Obviously, it's harder to, to reply to everything now with um, a little one, but I always try my best. Let me know if there are some vlogs that you would be interested in seeing. Um, and that's about it that's kind of a, the longest intro ever but talking about my 2022 goals and just life at the moment as you can tell i'm pretty tired <laughs> um so we're just enjoying the life life as it comes and working on my health and everything so anyway sagebrush top dress is a nice easy one to get back into after not sewing for a while and the instructions are here i've got them printed however it's such an easy make that once i remember what i'm doing it's quite easy to pick up and do it i've made it about three times now it's one of my favorite patterns ever so if you haven't got it yet go get it it's the best um it's the best top slash dress hack that i that i love um so i'll leave that link below for you guys and yeah we're gonna do that process and i'll be back Hey guys, I'm in my studio. It's so cold. Um, usually I come out and put the heater on. I've got this little like gas heater. Um, usually I come put that on like half an hour before I come out and start working. But with uh, a baby, I obviously can't get it heated. I, time is precious. So I'm out here in my coat um, and a blanket. And yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get some sewing done on this sage brush. Uh, but anyway, I'm wearing this Ilford jacket, and this, if you guys haven't seen this before, um, this is a, well, an Ilford jacket that I made out of this, like, teddy bear fabric, and it was so hard to make, but I absolutely love it, and I wear it all the time. And then, um, might be a bit low, because I'm wearing it, obviously, sat down, but I'm wearing this patina blouse that I wore, uh, that I made, um, Friday Pattern Company patina blouse. And two things that I me made today, which is good for me because I haven't been wearing a lot of my me maids recently, just where I've been sticking to like comfortable clothes. Um, so yeah, and a sweater vest, which I'm not sure even suit me, but I'm just going for it. Anywho, right, we are gonna crack on with some sewing. I did the ruffles and um, the stay stitching on the necklines and that's kind of where I got to last time. So I'm hoping to get the bodice put together. Um, I've just realised I need to re-thread my overlocker and I really don't want to. I hate overlocking, um, but I hate re-threading the overlocker. I love overlocking, I love the finish, but um, yeah. Or do I do French seams? Hmm, what's easier? French seams takes double the amount of work, but it also means I don't have to re-thread the overlocker. Probably gonna rethread the overlocker. <laughs> Hi, my loves. So it is a new day. I'm back in the studio, and I'm actually on my camera. Woo! And I thought I'd show you where I got to. Basically, what I did when I came in um, and did my second session, I'm basically doing like little chunks of sewing, um, which is perfect when you've got a baby or a child or responsibilities. And so I'm back in the studio, and this is where I got to. So essentially that front panel is together with that little ruffle on the front and then the back panel is together as well. So I've sewn the yokes to the back and the front pieces and added that ruffle and that's where I've got to. And essentially what I did is I did every step that I could do that required no overlocking and now what I can do now that I've come in and set up for the day, well for the session, um, I've set up the overlocker and I can overlock all of the bits that I need to because there's nothing restricting me being able to do that and then the next step is I can sew the side seams together before um, starting on the sleeves and the skirt. So yeah, um, with my overlocker, I've got my camera on it at the moment which is why I'm pointing in that direction. Um, I need to change the threads but I'm going to be super lazy because it's a black and white fabric I'm just going to overlock it in white thread because I don't have the time or the energy to be re-threading my overlocker I hate it, it's my worst job apart from cutting out patterns um, my overlocker is just, yeah 
Um, and my snack of choice is I have a donut, jam donut, and a cup of tea. So that's it, I've got an, about an hour. Chris has just had an hour playing games with his friends online. Now he's taken over with baby and I can have my tea, my donut, and a bit of sewing, which is like, oh my God, so needed for my mental health. Let's crack on with this sewing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the overlocking bits done that I need and then um, start on the skirt and the sleeves and stuff and I'll keep you updated with how it's going. Whoa. where I've got to and my session is finished I've just done the neckline around the top and it took me ages to do this because I sewed it with a 5 8 seam allowance uh, the the first part of it and it's meant to be done with a half um, so I ended up having to unpick it and redo it oh my god look how red I am because I've got my gas heater on Woo! but anyway this is where I've got to and then the sides are sewn together as well uh, my next session will be uh, the sleeves and hopefully the skirt in the same session, but yeah, I'm um, calling it a day and I will show you the update next time. Hi, it's the next day, it's Sunday today and I've got another hour in the studio. So here I am with the top that I showed you yesterday and just about to make a start on the sleeves. There's quite a bit of work involved in the sleeves, so I'm just going to crack on to be honest because Time is the precious, as I've mentioned, and because essentially what you're doing is you're making the sagebrush top and then you're just bringing up where the hem would usually be to where you want it to fall um, with the skirt attachment. Because it's oversized, you just pop it on over your head, um, but it's just essentially where you want the skirt to start. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, sleeves, and then test the fit of it and we can then make a start on the skirt. Not sure how much I'll get done. If I make no mistakes like I did yesterday, um, then hopefully I'll get both sleeves put in and finished. It's coming up to the end of my hour and I got a fair bit done. I kept my head down, didn't do any procrastinating and was able to get done the sleeves. So the sleeves are in um, and the hems are done. Now all I need to do is get the elastic into the hem of the sleeve but I've run out of time and Chris and I have given each other an hour each to like do our own thing. Um, we sort of like take it in turns with baby girl to like go and do our own thing for our own mental health. So um, that's where I've got to in my little window of time that I had down here. So I've got to call it a day for now um, and next time I'll do the elastic and the skirt. It's amazing when you're sewing how quickly the time just passes. I, th I think I took for granted how obviously without a child how nice it was to just come down here and just spend hours and hours sewing and I could literally get this probably made in a day but I've done three maybe three and a half hours of sewing so far for this and it's incredible to see like obviously how long it takes to cut it out um, and prep it and sew it um, so I reckon this garment's probably going to take me five hours altogether to make so it's just it's really nice to see it in that kind of way um, and really appreciate how clothes are made and also the time and energy that it goes into making especially now that I'm a mum and time is so valuable so yeah that's where we're at clocking out for the day and I will see you guys on the flip side when I'm here for the next session hi so it's a week later um, I haven't been able to get out into my studio this whole week uh, won't bore you with the details but basically it's just been super busy and Chris has been back at work so um, here I am, it's Sunday, I've got a new haircut, uh, fringe is a little bit on the shorter side than I'm used to but um, yeah it will grow out and yeah what was I going to say, oh so the dress is nearly finished, I actually managed to um, do a bit of sewing in my house because it's harder for me to get out into the studio, my nan gave me or is lending me her uh, sewing machine so I've got a spare one inside now that I can just um, do bits and bobs with. It's not like got all of the fancy features mine has, but it's enough that I can uh, crack on and do some bits in the house, which is great. Um, so I just need to overlock the skirt panels and finish off one of the the skirt tiers I'm doing, and then I'll show you the finished dress. But yeah, um, overview, or let's, let's think, feedback <laughs> of sewing with a newborn baby. Um, it's really difficult, but I think you make time and you prioritise things that you care about and obviously sewing for me is my biggest passion and my hobby slash my, my career so um, yeah it's been 
a challenge. Um, obviously, she's only a newborn, so a lot of people don't get back to sewing for a long time, but um, it's important for me, for my mental health and um, my job and everything like that to get back to it. So it's been, it's been amazing to be able to come out here and actually find some snippets of time to sew. Um, one thing I would say is it reminds me very much of the Tilly Buttons book, Make It Simple, because I don't know if you guys have read it or looked at it, but it's um, it has elements of like 15 minute chunks of sewing and it, and it kind of breaks the steps down into different times. So it'd be like, this will take 15 minutes, this will take 30 minutes. And I really love that kind of attitude towards sewing that you don't necessarily have to make an item of clothing. You don't have to make a project in a day or two you can spread it out and it can take a bit longer and you can still have these the most rewarding results at the end of it. Um, flashback to 2020 when I was, you know, making a YouTube video once a week and had a new item of clothing once a week because I was really like, you know, buzzing about sewing, you know, was really like trying to perfect my skills and flash forward nearly two years later um, with a baby and it's just going to have to change and I think it's okay and it will work out the way it's meant to with doing you know the odd 15 minutes the odd hour here and there um so i'm really happy about it i'm glad that i've managed to stick with it even if it was in little segments because i'm used to um if i start a project and i don't get it finished straight away i put it down and i'll forget about it so i'm i'm practicing um working differently so anyway i hope you like this vlog it's very chatty very long i'm really sorry i tried to cut out bits it was it would have been about an hour long otherwise um so yeah i'm back to it i'm gonna try and do a video once a month and hopefully increase it to twice a month um as the year progresses that's it i'm gonna do some more sewing vlogs i've got some more cricut content coming and lots of craft related stuff coming this year more products for my etsy shop which i'll link below so there's lots coming and i'm really thankful for your support so if you've watched this vlog to the end thank you so much um so I'm not going to sign out just yet, I'm going to finish my dress, I'll show you in the next clip what it looks like, and yeah. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now, there's something in the air, and a sparkly shimmer.